If I was in that situation too, I want to come to a winning team too. You know, if I'm 34, 35, just sitting here chilling, and uh, I'll do just what Waddle did uh, last year. Hop on the team, win the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's good, man. You know, that way, you know, hey, I'm here for it. I'm trying to win one myself. So, you know, um, it's good, though, man. I, like I said, man, uh, these, guys, these guys they brought in today for sure. I played against, you know, Joseph and Wiens in Minnesota. Been seeing him dominate for so long, man, and I know he still got it, too. Just watching him out there today. So, guys is like, you know, at his age in life, he's like, you want to win the Super Bowl, you know, because that kind of like almost completes your career kind of like. So, uh, you know. I'm looking forward to it, too. Does it also send a message to the guys in the locker room, like, hey, we're going for it? Like, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, that's what, I hope that's a message to everybody in their locker room. That's how it's supposed to be in the league. Everybody not here to just to be like a, a participant. You know, everybody trying to win the Super Bowl. So, you know, Howie does a great job and they're just making it known, like, hey, this is what I'm trying to do, too. Like, you know, he done won one before, so he's trying to, you know, get that confetti following him again. So I want it, too. So what's that what's you like? I mean, from the outside, we obviously He's amazing. Know. He's an amazing dude, man. Uh, great guy. You know, very loving guy, man. That's my guy. Like, that's my dude, dude, you know. Uh, man, he, he really that good. He really a good dude, man. He, he taught me a lot in Detroit. Uh, plugged me in Detroit. When he left Detroit and went to Miami, I kind of had, like, all his little connections to, like, food spots, you know, malls, shopping, housing, and all kind of great stuff. So, man, he set me up pretty good in Detroit. So, I uh, always appreciate him. I don't know if somebody asked you, did you talk to him yet? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I talk to him all the, pretty often, a little bit. You know, we always hit each other, you know, pretty often. But, uh, yeah, I already talked to him. I talked to him, like, probably like two nights ago. Okay. And he called me last night, too. So, yeah, that's my dog. I told him he could come move in if he wants to. <laughs> you know, my wife and kids, I'm in Houston. But they, they come down this week. But, yeah, he can come move in. I got a whole house. Big, big, I, got a big, I got a big house. I got a whole downstairs for him, you know, yeah. set up nice for him, you know. How long, you, to come. how long do you think it'll take for a guy like, you know, Linval or, or, or nah. Sue to, to kind of get going? They, uh, they, ain't played the, they ain't played 10 years plus for no reason. They know how to prepare themselves. I'm sure they've been working out. They're just waiting on the right opportunity. You know, this is what teen they really want to do because the ball is in their hands. You know, they, they done made all the money. They done made all the, you know, accolades and Pro Bowls, all pros. You know, the boys really want Super Bowls. So they just sit back and just waiting on to see what, uh, you know, teen, uh, you know, help. They feel like it helped. And uh, I'm glad both of them chose us. So, because, uh, uh, like I said, I want one too. Uh, so. Is Sue one of those guys that has like two different personalities on and off the field? Nope, we got one. We got one personality, and that's just chill, humble dude, but competitive. Always been a competitive guy, though. Does he talk too high rent? Huh? Does he talk too high Nope, I'm rich too. He can stay rent free. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, my, I'm rich too, so he can come in there whenever, hey. You know, he can come whenever he wants to, yeah. So we both rich, so I don't need to charge my dog. I guess it's where we're, man. Dream come true, you know. Just just blessed to be here, and I'm going give to give it all I got, you know. Start off. Did you have Why a you opportunity elsewhere, uh, or were you waiting for the right team to come along to offer you something? I had a couple opportunities, but at the same time, I had one opportunity to actually play, you know, and be valued, and... This was the best best opportunity I had so far, you know, so I had to take it. What did you like about this opportunity? Just the opportunity to actually be able to play and a great all-around team here. And I've been here one day, and it just felt like I've been here the whole time since, since we started the season. So, like I said, I just want to keep growing and just keep help this team as much as I can, Gannon, any way I can. Gannon mentioned how uh, you're a guy that's always on the treadmill and – uh, keeping in shape, uh, how, you know, how, do you feel like you'll be able to play on, on Sunday and, and be where you were last year? I mean, that's the goal, you know. I've been training for this moment, and it all comes down to the playbook, you know. It's a new playbook, but I'm picking it up. And I don't know how much I'm going to play, but the goal is to be on the field on Sunday. Were you always planning to play this year? Even when, of course. Yeah. yeah, that was the goal. The goal was to get 100% healthy, get an opportunity, and actually play. And that's what I was waiting for. What was the injury? Did you get to know those guys that are all back then? Sue and, and oh, yeah, yeah. We all went to we all went to the the combine together. And do you remember like what you were thinking when you met those guys back then? I remember being a junior. There was a senior, and nobody gave me a shot, and I had to go in there and show everybody that I belong here, you know. And I think that's what my whole my whole career has always been like that. So just to see these guys and be around these guys and know these guys, we all 
we all know we what it took to get here, you know? Everybody's talking. Years later, it's, 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 kind of cool. it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's, at the end of the day, NFL, this says not for long, right? To be here 13 years later and still see some of the guys I came there with, it's, 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 it's a dream, man. The, the guys here are all talking about the performance that you had against them last year. Mm -hmm. Why did you perform so well in that game? <laughs> I mean, I've been playing in this conference since the beginning of time, since 2010. You know, I played the Eagles twice a year, and I don't know, man. It's just something about losing that Super Bowl in 2017, and every time I play in that stadium, it's just like I feel like I got to do a little bit more to help the guys to to get the guys going, you know? It just take one play to spark the whole team. And that's what I'm here for. I saw something time. that you were clocked at 16, no, was it even faster than that? Yeah, that game was almost 19 miles per hour. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How do you maintain the, that speed? I mean, obviously you don't get to flash it very much because I mean, you yeah. do a lot of rundowns. I just look like this. I'm, I'm a, I'm a world-class <laughs> athlete. <you know? laughs> I'm fast, I'm strong, I, I'm just, I'm blessed. And without God, I won't. Be here today. You know? you go yards with a I, I probably beat everybody here right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you and Kelsey had some pretty good battles. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Kelsey is a hell of a player, and it was it meant the world to hear him vouch for me. You know, guys that I play with, and it was like, hey, if LJ is available, we'll get him here. You know, so just to hear them vouch for me and the, the, the respect there is that's what I like. That's why I play this game for respect. How much football were you following in the last two months, and how much did you know Follow about every this day, game? man? Yeah. Every day, every day. I watch. I I got Sunday ticket. I'm I'm always on. Okay, what teams would I fit well in? You know, mm -hmm. so I'm always watching games to see. Okay, can I fit here? Can I not? You know, like with the Bills. It was, oh, the Bills. Okay, let me go check. Them, let me go check them out. Oh, the Cardinals. Let me go check them out. You know, so I always was checking out. Teams. At what point did this team come on your radar? I mean, I've been watching the team because they eight and zero. So I was watching this team every week. You know, and I just wanted to see. What made them so good, you know, and just seeing that they're well balanced is pretty big. Because uh, I think right now they're the only team in the NFL that's well balanced in every room. How did this what come about? Like? How did this opportunity come about? That they call you? Did how we call you and say, hey, you want to come on board? Or how did it go? Pretty down? much. I mean, me and my agent was talking about it two weeks ago. I was like, hey, man, the best well-rounded team yeah. is the Eagles. But then, you know, how football is a couple guys got hurt and actually got the call, you know, and got the call, hear him out, and talk talk to Howie and. Talk to some of the guys, and it was a real opportunity to come and be a part of this team and play, and that's what that's what I want. How were you able to be so patient, or was it challenging for you all those weeks that you weren't on a team? It was just different. Like 13 years finally happened in the summer. Like I never felt that before, so it was like kind of taking it all in, you know. At the same time, it was like you got to believe. Like this this journey was been, was a hell of a journey since last January. And to be where I'm standing at right now is is it was all worth it. So they're gonna ask you too also to play a little, you know, probably three tech and, and four down looks and um, you know, that, that's something you have done in your career. Do so Alex said you, yeah, put, to play versatile spots. Alex said very about that. I mean I've been playing all my career, the three, the four, the shade, the nose. And I stand up a couple times, I dropped the coverage a couple times. Whatever they need me to do I can do. When did you uh, first get the call? First a couple days ago maybe? For Eagles fans who don't really know you, what can they expect? For me to go hard every play and give it give it my all. And like I said, the ultimate goal here is to get another ring. And I want to be a part of that. So I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure we can get that done. You, you mentioned um, the shoulder. I think you missed a couple games last year because mm -hmm. of that. And then it seemed like you had an elbow brace. And I, guess that I still had an elbow brace. So your percentage of snaps uh, dropped. Uh, later in the season, the chart was it was it mainly because of the or were they doing things differently schematically? Uh, it was all Chargers. It was all I guess I want to say is just schemes and teams were playing. And yeah, I got hurt. I played half of the season hurt last year, and I felt like I was still top tier even though I was hurt. You know, and that's one thing about me that a lot of people can't do. I can play hurt. I played hurt my whole career and. It's better to feel healthy than what I feel right now because I know I can do I can make a lot more plays than when I was hurt.